Hello and welcome to the section 6 of the Automated UI Testing in Java video course. This section would be dedicated to keyword-driven approach for the test automation frameworks. Unlike previous section, here we will not recreate entire framework from the scratch, but rather concentrate on major aspects while working with the frameworks of such types. We'll get general introduction for the approach and take a Cucumber JVM as one of the representatives of this framework. After that, we'll start adding more abstractions to give pages and elements more or less informative names. We'll add some major set of functionality we need while writing tests using this approach. Everything would be supported with live examples. We'll take uh, our sample banking application again and implement it in a keyword-driven manner. And we'll start with general introduction to the keyword-driven approach. In this video, we'll get an introduction into keyword-driven approach. We'll describe major idea of the approach as well as introduce the toolset we'll use to demonstrate how to design scenarios and test for keyword-driven style. Unlike previous section, where we created object-driven framework from the scratch, here we will take existing engine and pay more attention to the way how our library we developed during the course should be changed. In the end of the video, we'll make uh, some initial preparations before doing actual practical samples. As it was shown in the introduction video, the keyword-driven framework includes extra level, which takes initial test instructions from some external resource passes it to the engine, which in turn calls some actual code. Let's take a look at it in a bit more details. With keyword-driven approach, we still have classes with methods performing some test actions. On this diagram, they are on the right side. So, we still have some functional decomposition here. But also, we have some test instructions. Each instruction is associated with some specific method. Those instructions are called keywords, and they can be represented either as plain text or in the form of table. Major thing is that those keywords are stored separately from the actual code. The engine itself parses instructions one by one. So, it means that keywords still require some specific notation. After scenario is passed, the engine invokes actual methods associated with each specific keyword one by one. So, technically, the result would be the same as if we call associated methods linear sequence. This is how the engine works. There can be many solutions implementing such approach, but we can take some existing one to see how it works and, what's more important, we can figure out how we can design our test code and test scenarios to fit the approach. One of the most popular engine using keyword-driven approach is Cucumber. For Java, it's Cucumber JVM. In our further examples, we'll use it as the major engine. Sometimes people set direct association between Cucumber and another magic word called BDD, Behavior Driven Development. But why did I treat it as a keyword driven? The trick is that uh, behavior driven development mainly reflects the process part of using the approach when we write acceptance tests before actual implementation. And Cucumber is definitely convenient for that. But it's not just Cucumber who does this. At the same time, from technical point of view, the way the Cucumber tests are defined is exactly the way the keyword-driven tests are written. So, Cucumber implements technical part of keyword-driven approach. It reflects the way how we write our tests rather than what tests do we write and where. That's why we shouldn't be confused with these multiple terms. They just uh, came from different classifications. And now, Let's prepare initial skeleton for our test, which would be written in a keyword-driven manner. First of all, we'll include new dependencies for the Cucumber in our POM XML file if we use Maven. Here we additionally include runner for GUnit. Here is a sample example for the Gradle if you use one. Now let's prepare initial test scenario. We'll take our test for banking application from previous sections and, at the moment, we'll create initial setup and tear down actions as well as implement one step which just involves our application. So, let's create scenario. We are creating feature file where we define the feature as a group of tests. Then we define the scenario and, in the end, we add one step saying that the banking application has been started. 
This is our external test resource where we take uh, test instructions from. Now, let's add actual step implementations. For this purpose, we'll create new package for this and here we add two classes. First is hooks class. Here we put before and after methods. Those methods are just about to start and stop WebDriver respectively. Cucumber reserves before and after annotations for such methods. We'll just copy driver initialization and stop code into appropriate places. Second class is basic KDT steps class where we put all the steps implementations. Currently we don't have uh, that many steps, but for bigger solution obviously there can be multiple classes reflecting operations grouped by some common target purpose etc. Here we'll add method which just opens banking application homepage. And additionally, we add given annotation which contains regular expression matching our the only test instruction at the moment. This is the way the Cucumber associates test instructions with the actual code. It finds the instruction in the text file and then looks for specifically annotated methods. If the text line from the scenario matches regular expression in annotation, the appropriate method is invoked. And final step is to create test class. For our example, that would be another GUnit class named Banking KDT Test. This is empty class without any fields and methods. All the magic is done with annotations. Firstly, we'll add run with cucumber statement to indicate that we need a specific runner for this test. Secondly, we'll add the cucumber options annotation. Here we specify the plugin field which corresponds to the output files. Then we define features field which contains the array of paths to our plain text instructions. That should be either absolute path or relative path starting from the project root folder. And finally, we need to define glue field which shows the path to the code containing steps implementation. This path is to be relative to source folders. Actually, uh, here I take the package name and replace all dots with slashes. Now we can run the test and see it works. This is it for current video. We've introduced keyword-driven approach and described its major features. We've introduced Cucumber JVM as an example of keyword-driven framework as well as we've prepared the base settings for future sample tests.